Well, good morning, everybody. We are out and about for the day. I have Joseph and Peter and Maria with me and, and myself. I'm Jennifer. This is A Country Life. I'm at the post office shipping off cookbooks. So I have cookbooks going out to so many people today. I can't say everybody's names, but let me just pull out a pile. And I have one going to Catherine and Paula and Caitlin and Shelly and Diana and then so many more. So anyway, I'm going to run these in. I have a couple... Sometimes people send me checks and then I have to pay the postage like at the post office rather than buying the postage online. So anyway, so I'm going to uh, do that and then we're heading over to the library. Well, we just finished at the library and now we are grabbing something for lunch. I didn't plan this out very well today and everybody was starving. So we're here at Chips. I don't know if that is something I know there are a couple chips around, but I don't really know how far reaching chips restaurant is. Anyway, what do you have, Joe? French fries and cookies. Yep, the kids' meal, you always get a cookie, don't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two cookies. Very good. You get two cookies? Mm hmm. Me and Joe got the same thing, I think. Peter! Hey! Uh, come on! <laughs> So I'm heading into church right now. It's pitch black down here. <laughs> I have to pick up a soup pot. Our church does a Stations of the Cross. It is a devotion um, that follows along 14 stations as Jesus makes his way um, to the cross to be crucified. And anyway, uh-oh, the kitchen door is locked. Okay, I'm gonna have to go find somebody to unlock it so I can get a pot. So what I'm what I'm trying to say here is that um, three different people each Wednesday then make soup because after Stations of the Cross, we have a soup supper. And, <clears throat> and I'm on for making. I signed up to make soup for tomorrow. So rather than make it here at church because I also teach for our homeschool co-op tomorrow, I thought what I would do is just make the soup at home and then bring it here. They said that's fine as well. So, all right, I need to go find someone to unlock the kitchen. All right, so that was a complete bust at church. I think maybe our secretary was maybe on lunch break or something like that. Anyway, we're at Aldi now, and both Peter and Maria, they picked up cookbooks from the library. And Peter, what are the two things you want to do? Guacamole and... Uh, sweet potato fries. So he's going to bring his cookbook into Aldi so we can get the items that we need. And then Maria, what is it that you wanted to make? Um, Pinkalicious cupcakes. So she just needs a white box mix cake and what else? And cherries and white sprinkles. Okay, so we're going to go and look for those couple things. I have a couple things on my grocery list to get here at Aldi and then we're also going to go over across the way to pick and save because there were a few things in yes. last Wednesday's flyer that I wanted to get and it's Tuesday so the sale is going to go off today so I really want to pick up those uh, those few items so hopefully the stuff's still there. We're going to look for avocados. Avocados, avocados. Well, are they don't have avocados today? Are they on sale? I don't avocados? see avocados here today. Okay, we found avocados. Now, Peter, you want to pick ones that are as soft as possible because we're going to make this tonight. So these green ones are not ripe. So, yeah, find the ones Ooh, that feel, soft. feel really ripe. That one seems almost a little overripe to me. What about this one? Maybe not. No, that one feels good. How many do we need? Do you think we need three? It says two. It says two? Four people. Okay. It said this will serve four people. Okay, that sounds good then. All right, well, we are really Tuna. struggling with finding maraschino cherries. We're looking by the canned pasta. fruit. We looked by the ice cream toppings. We looked in the baking aisle. Where are we going to find maraschino cherries, Maria? Nowhere? <laughs> you know what, do they have a liquor department here? Oh, wow. Maybe, because a lot of people put cherries in drinks. So yeah, maybe they're, you know, like look, look, coffee? look. Oh my gosh, Maria, look at that. Oh, yes. Look at that, we just missed it the first time. Yeah, well, yeah. uh, uh, single, it's, it's getting windier and windier. 
as the day goes on and it's raining. <laughs> I couldn't shut the door because the wind was blowing so hard against it. I know. <laughs> I know. I grabbed my um, my door and just whipped it right open. So we just finished up with uh, pick and save, and I used all my coupon deals and everything. And I'd have to look at my receipt again, but I think it was like $62 to begin with, and then it ended up at $33. So that was a great savings on things at pick and save. And I got a couple extra things that weren't on sale that we couldn't get over at Aldi, like cornmeal and some sprinkles for the cupcakes that Maria wants to make. So now I'm gonna go and get a gift certificate. There is, <laughs> Joe has the hiccups. There's actually, we're having a baby shower tomorrow at our homeschool group for one of the um, women that just had a baby. I think it might be her sixth child. I didn't really know if she needed like clothing and you know baby kind of stuff. I asked her about if they like to like get takeout or something like that because I thought that sometimes is a bigger help than a new outfit <laughs> is to just get a gift card for a restaurant. So we're gonna go over and get a gift card for them and then I think we get to finally go home. I think. We are home now and I'm going to give you my Aldi total, which was $47.10. And I thought that Aldi prices were pretty decent today. Actually, at Pick and Save, I had it wrong. My savings was a total of $32.66, which was a 42% savings off of the total bill. And what I ended up paying was just under $45. So let me show you what I got today. I was able to get the chicken strips from Aldi. I like to pick these up um, for making like chicken salads, we call them. It's really just, I just cook the chicken strips and then I make a big salad. And some of us, like especially, I like to cut mine up and put it on top of the salad. Most of the family likes to just eat the salad separate and then eat the chicken strips. But anyway, that's, um, I got those. I told Joe two boxes of saltines and Maria and I were pretty certain that there were two boxes in the cart, but I only got, um, I my receipt shows that only one rang up. So I don't know what happened to the other box, if it got stuck on the belt someplace or if Joe didn't put two boxes in. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I picked up three packages of the oyster crackers. They have been having like this brand or this variety at Aldi this whole um, fall and winter and these are really really tasty they're they're a lot tastier than their other brand well I think it was still Savoritz was their other brand but I don't know they were just a different shape not as good as these I picked up four more cans of kidney beans the dark red I like that one Aldi has those because I really like the way that looks in chili here's the classic white cake mix for Maria I think shortly she is going to actually make those into cupcakes here so that we can maybe get those frosted yet tonight and then we picked up four boxes of cereal. So typically this crunchy granola whole grain Millville brand usually comes in like a pouch with a zip top. Anyway, they have it in a box, in a great big box. And this is heavy. This is one pound, 12 ounces of cereal. It came in at just about 13 cents an ounce, which is a great price for cereal. Maria had asked for the Kid Crunch and then I know that Warren and Peter and Joe really like Rice Krispies. And then I picked up a Cinnamon Toast Crunch as well. Peter is going to make for us guacamole to go with our Taco Taco Tuesday tonight. So we picked up a couple avocados and some cilantro and just one tomato for that. And we have the lime juice and salt already at home. And these are the chips that we picked up to go with it. The multi-grain. These are very, very good. Now, I don't know if we've ever had these. I feel like at some point we would have because this is something that Amber would have been like, Mom, Mom, I want that. <laughs> but anyway, we haven't had it in a really long time. And so we picked up some blue chips as well. And also at Aldi, two things of tomato juice. So I will be making a chili soup, which is just my chili recipe, but I'm calling it chili soup so that it works out <laughs> for making it for the church soup. Um, soup supper and so I picked up two tomato juices for that I'll also I will actually water this down and mix it with some of my home canned tomato juice as well because this sometimes is a little too thick for us for our chili and then I picked up some bananas over at pick and save um, they had some things on just super, super deals. So they had eight pounds of oranges for $5. That was one of their digital deals. That's a great price, well under 99 cents a pound for fruit. And then I did, I forgot to get these at Aldi. I'm sure it would have been less expensive at Aldi, but 
I wasn't going to run back there, so I did get some elbow macaroni, and then we did pick up the cornmeal. I thought I normally get yellow cornmeal, but there was not a spot even on the shelf where it said yellow cornmeal, um, and I know I always get it in this little container. So anyway, white cornmeal it is. I hope that that's just the same. And then for Maria's cupcakes, we did pick up these sprinkles to the tune of $2.99, which I thought was a crazy expensive price, but it, it's worth it. I sometimes kind of, honestly, when things like this pop up, I kind of chalk it up as part of our school and some sometimes like our school expense in the sense that she is going to make her cupcakes. She's going to be doing baking. You could call that cooking class or life skills or whatever, but anyway... Sometimes I buy things that are that I feel are overpriced just for learning opportunities. All right, and then some cherries. Again, they did not have these at Aldi. That must be only at Christmas or like leading up to Christmas that they have the maraschinos. So we did find these and they were in the baking aisle, which is where I thought they would be, but we missed them the first time. This was another one of their digital deals. So they did have these boxes of cereal. They are the smaller boxes, but for $1.79, for the name brand cereal, which sometimes is better than Aldi, sometimes not better than Aldi. And also in the mail, I had gotten like a little um, little pack of coupons from Pick and Save. There was about 10 coupons in there, and they had, uh, if you bought two boxes, it was 70 cents off. So from the $1.79 down 35 cents, uh, what is that, $1.44? Did I do my math right? $1.44 for a box of cereal. I feel like that is a great price. They also had another coupon, $0.75 cents off, I believe, when you bought um, two of these. These were also on the digital deal for $1.79, so minus $0.75 cents for those. And then for my fifth one, just to use... Um, you know, just to like use up my full ability of the $1.79. I went with one box of honeycomb. We haven't had that in a long time. We used to buy this a lot at Aldi and it's always been a favorite. I haven't had the name brand in a long time, so I'm hoping everybody likes that. And then I picked up some marinara sauce at Pick and Save as well. They had these for either 97 or 99 cents. Again, it was one of their digital deals and so you could buy uh, you know, between one and five of these and get them at that great price. I would really, really like to make um, a number of freezer lasagnas again. I really like having those, and it's not something we have often, but Peter absolutely loves that. Joe absolutely loves it. I absolutely love the lasagna. Warren definitely eats it. He used to say he didn't like lasagna, but he, um, as long as I make it simple, He's like, yeah, I actually, I'm surprised I really like it. So um, anyway, that's why I bought all of the marinara sauces for that. And they had the cheese. This is a half pound for $1.47. And my go-to price is under $3 a pound. So that fit the bill. Not the cheapest I've gotten it recently, but I was in need of more block cheese. And this was, these were my only options besides Swiss. Medium cheddar and pepper jack. They were out of everything else. In that little like mail flyer that I got that had some extra pick and save coupons, they had one in there for a free tombstone pizza. So I picked up a tombstone pizza, of course, for free. And then the chicken. This was interesting. In the flyer, the chicken legs and, well, I guess they call them chicken drumsticks and chicken thighs were 99 cents a pound. But at the store, they had them marked at $1.99 and there was not a sale price, you know, like a little sale, one of those little signs that they always put up when things are on sale. They didn't have that posted. Well, there was a, one of the meat cutters was out. And so I asked him, I said, will this ring up at 99 cents a pound? And he said, yes, it will. I said, because I noticed there was no sign there. And he said, well, we're practically out of chicken. And so we took the signs down so that it's like not as noticeable <laughs> because he said they didn't really want to completely sell out of chicken. So anyway, I thought that was very interesting. And also I picked up some chips and these were, um, let's see, these are normally marked at $5.79. They had them with the digital deals. You could get up to five, but we didn't need five bags of chips because we already got two at Aldi. Um, and so these were $2.79, I think, or $2.67. I'd have to look at my receipt. And then I did have a coupon for the toast 
Tostitos again, one of those that came in the mail. And then that coupon was for 70 cents off. And so these were like $2 for this huge bag of Tostito scoop chips. And that's everything that I picked up today. I thought that I did well. What did I say? I had about $45 and another $47, so just under $100 um, for all of this. I think that that was... I think that was good. Oh, and there's one thing that is not showing. I did pick up a a gift for a baby shower. But that wasn't very much. That was only like $4. Right there. Those are going to be pretty. Okay, so what you really, really need to do first is you need to make the box mix. Yeah. So you just look at the back. It'll tell you how much water. It'll tell you how much oil. And it will tell you how many eggs that you need. And you'll just put it in the mixer and mix it on medium for like two minutes. Okay. okay? Well, Maria just put in her cupcakes here. I We were just so busy making them, I forgot to film her in the process. But she made it completely on her own. The only thing is we forgot, because the recipe she's following for making these little like pinkalicious cupcakes, you're supposed to put some food coloring in to um, dye the uh, cake batter. Well, we forgot to do that. So once she had it all into the cake um, or all into the cupcake liners, then we just used toothpicks. And I have some, I had, we had like three different kinds of pink, red uh, food coloring. We just use a toothpick, put a couple drops in each one and then swirled around. So that's, so they're going to be swirled pink cupcakes, which I think is going to look just adorable. But what I have going here now, this is Taco Tuesday. And so here we go. I have, I got my frozen taco meat out. I'm putting that in here. It's almost thawed, so I'm just going to let that uh, thaw and put that on low, and I'm going to start making like a times six of chili. Well, there's a lot going on in the kitchen right now. It's actually 417. We're getting ready for supper here tonight. Maria's cupcakes came out of the oven. Peter is working on making the guacamole recipe out of the cookbook that he got. Let's see, the cookbook he got is called DK Cooking Step by Step. And he's got his tomatoes in there already. And then these are the tomatoes that are for our tacos. You're gonna do... One fourth cup cilantro. And then how much lime juice One do you know? Spoon. And then do you have to put salt and pepper in this too? Does it say? They said... Se oh, it says season to taste. So yeah, you'll probably put a little salt. Maybe not pepper. No. Cilantro is pretty peppery. I was just getting a whole lot of black olives chopped, and now I'm going to make some rice to go with our tacos. Maria is working on some schoolwork here still. I have all different potting. Yep, show the outside, the front of it. There's the front. So, yep, so in and this... The, there, yep, she us. said that like she's all about like your own like style and own unique designs. Mm -hmm. So she showed me all these designs, like little flower petals, and like do like thin lines next to thick lines. Mm -hmm. So this is the book that she's working out of. And we have a couple of these modern kid press workbooks, and I really like them. Joe is using one, I'm pretty sure this is where it's from, for his spelling book, and then Maria's doing this one. So it's kind of teaching, it teaches, well, I'll just show you. It teaches them like some sort of cursive writing. It teaches them some kind of fun ways to print with little lines on it. But then as you go along, it starts to teach them how to do um, just little projects. Connections. Oh, right. Yep, Maria said these are called connections. So they kind of do it, and, and you then trace you... it, and then you get to do it, right? Mm -hmm. I'm working on the chili right now, so I have six pounds of meat cooking. I'm cooking it slowly so that I can, because the inside, like the inside of each was still a little bit frozen. So in Warren's last farm, oh my goodness, in his last cranberry farmer video, day in the life type of a thing, what am I doing? What, what does it look like to be a cranberry farmer? He, at the end, he showed that they were, him and Sam were working on welding. Mm -hmm. And so I thought it'd be kind of fun to just come out and see what they were doing, because today Warren said, Things are really starting to kind of wrap up on that project. Well, they're coming together. I mean, we maybe not wrapping in. up, but yeah, they're not wrapping up. But we got the <laughs> axles in, so it's finally under real power. Sam just uh, built the tongue and got that welded in place. Yep. All these, all this, and uh, 
So all we have to do now is the final bracing that will support the pallets, which that's what those pipes are there on the floor. And then we these will get, are we going this way? Yeah. We're, we're going, going to put them. three across through here. So. Mm -hmm. Up here we're going to do two then, one here because of this, because we can't put one centered. Yeah, I'm not sure yet. I think. Or angle cut it and weld it to these brackets. And then you're going to put pallets of fertilizer on this? Is yeah, that this what? Will, this is designed to hold two pallets of fertilizer okay. so that I can just lift them on with the forks of the tractor. Previously, we moved every bag, bag by bag, where now we'll just lift the pallet right on. So the whole idea was to get the axles lower than the bed of the trailer so mm -hmm. that we didn't have, because that was the problem with the car hauler trailer is the fenders were always in the way. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, this trailer is built to hold two tons of fertilizer. Okay. And it could probably hold more than that yeah. based on... 4,000 pounds is what we'll put on it. Yeah. Okay. So it could probably hold double that. Probably. It looks strong. I don't... It's heavy. At least to me it looks strong. Much. So I have a homemade powdered sugar update. It was sitting up in the cabinet and it got pretty cakey or chunky. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so what we're finding is that we kind of have to like really fork it again. I did read some comments and a few of you mentioned to me that I might blocks. need to add cornstarch. So I'm going to do a little bit more investigating and see what I can find out about that because I I mean I would really like to be able to just quick make my own powdered sugar and maybe it's something that it's better like you know you're going to use it right now and then just make it so because it gets yeah see it's like just a second Maria just a sec so you can see it kind of makes like these little powdered sugar rocks <laughs> like rock white like rocks. They, they do they do crumble though when you when you push on them against the sidewall here. So all right, so I just discovered too that we can just put it through Can you do this? Put it through the yeah. sieve. So what I do, Maria, is I just kind of shake it side to side and a lot of it powders out. And then when it stops powdering out, see how it's coming through there? And then when it stops coming through, then you can just hold it with one hand and use the fork to kind of break up the pieces again. So this actually would be a fine way to not have to add any cornstarch or anything to it. Takes a little bit more effort though. Okay, let's try it now. Now let's shake it for a little while and get all of that through for as much as we can. So we're making the frosting right now for Maria's cupcakes. Wow, is that beautiful. It's actually two cupcakes. Mm -hmm. That's great, Maria. Really squeeze it. Really squeeze it. That's like a work of art. Yeah. Looks good. And then you want me to turn it? Mm -hmm. Then I'll turn it for you. Very nice. Now on the TV show, <laughs> it wasn't this much work. <laughs> I just put some powdered sugar in, a stick of butter, mix it all together, added food coloring, kept mixing, added some more, kept mixing, <laughs> and voila! And voila, it worked! It's not like how it really is, is it? No. <laughs> Alright. You keep going, alright? Dad, look at this Maria's still I just busy, busy. 
what, what I was thinking about. Making all her about. cupcakes. Mm. Peter's, of made... course, going to eat one. <laughs> How is it, Peter? One. I don't know yet. You don't know yet? He Let me see the wait. tree. Oh, there it is. How cute. It's got like a sunshine and the sky in the background. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. And I did me. Yep, I see that Maria with the little face. Me. First. Stuff is still going down in the kitchen here at 20 to 8. This Maria. For mom. She loves these well, type of flat sprinkles. You're right, I do. I'll have to save it though. Yeah. So, anyway, there are all of Maria's beautiful cupcakes. One more to add. Less all the ones that the boys already ate. I'm working on chili still, and I just wanted to point out to you that whenever you use Worcestershire sauce, make sure to shake it and continue to look at the bottom because there's always, um, like, the, the seasonings settle out of Worcestershire sauce. So you really need to shake it up to get the full flavor. Team Maria. So we're going to actually play a card game here before bed, and then we are going to be wrapping up this video for the day. And I can't remember if I showed you my chili completely finished. Well, anyways, it's completely finished, except for the elbow macaroni. Yes. You have a necklace from Sam, except for the elbow macaroni, which Sam, Sam, now you have me saying Sam, which I'll actually cook the elbow macaroni up tomorrow, and I'll add that to the uh, chili soup tomorrow. So this card game, I just ran across this recently. You just take a deck of cards and you take out the face cards kings queens and jacks and then you deal four cards to each person so I'll just deal four cards to me and then what you do is you turn over your cards and you're trying to make the biggest four digit number you can so it's sort of like practicing thousands and things like that and the goal is to get 20,000 points so whoever gets 20,000 points so if I were doing this I mean 7,000 I can't see through the camera very good 7,432, that would be my number. And then basically what happens what? is that whoever gets the highest number, they are the person that gets to score the points. And you is just keep playing until somebody gets uh, 20,000 points. So what do you have here? Say your number for me. One. Nope. What number so is that? How do you get 10,000 10, 10, 10, 10,400. And 32. Yes, so I'm pretty sure Maria is probably going to be the winner this round, but that's what we do. That's what we're going to do, and we are going to play to 20,000 points. Have to, you have to make your. And that's going to be it. Possible. So I hope you guys enjoyed this just full day in the life of just what happens here. Um, I think so I'm we'll catch you guys win. in the next video. Bye. See you next time. I think I'm